Welcome to IFA 2013, Mr. Suga, and welcome to Berlin. Thank it's you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about the strategy behind this new corporate slogan? Yes. This is a really the first occasion to announce a new actually the message that a better life and a better world. Where the point is a better. So uh -huh. that's not just good, better. Originally actually the, our actually main DNA is for consumer electronics, consumer product. Contribute to people's ordinary life, how we can improve by using electric or our electronics technologies. That's our actually the focus. But uh, as you know actually the uh, consumer electronics product, mainly for digital type product, are being commoditized. We have many technologies, we have many manufacturing skills. We want to utilize to contribute those assets for more wide variety of lives of ordinary people. Now I've had a look around the booth here and there's a number of new areas that have um, become sort of visible over the last two years. Yes. Um, one of them being um, sort of home oriented yes. product and one of them being sort of um, uh, battery and electric vehicle. Right. Um, where do you see the new slogan um, fitting in with that, those product groups? I'm actually asking to many people, what's your dream? If you become somehow rich enough, what do you want to buy it? So people always say, it's actually, I want to have actually a good home, or I want to buy good cars. Mm -hmm. So basically the people would like to actually have those actually better living and the better cars. So that's why for these two areas, we want to put more focus on. And where in particular in the car industry do you see Panasonic being able to contribute? Yes car was originally quite mechanical object, but recently it is actually the electronics cockpit, navigation system, or various sensors uh, to make actually more uh, se safety for driving, or in order to improve the uh, gas uh, consumption, introduce actually the more electrically, uh, electrical uh, driven mechanism mm -hmm. like hybrid vehicle or even EVs. So we as Panasonic uh, electronics and electrical manufacturers, we can contribute to more for the next generation of automotive. At the present time, what kind of innovative technologies do you see being of interest to the consumer? We have various technologies, but the most one, most important one is Cloud technology, I would say. Cloud provides uh, more intelligence. For example, control. Instead of using remote control, we can utilize the uh, voice recognition. So our goal is sort of trying to realize a smart house. In Japan, we have also even the house, we have a house maker mm -hmm. called the Panahome. We are trying to integrate all of the functions uh, to that house and utilizing cloud technology, utilizing energy management system, making it a real smart house. Now, you've had a chance to actually have a wander around uh, the IFA showground this year. Um, what kind of things have you seen? What kind of um, things are other manufacturers showing? What technology is I being um, showcased Technology-wise, actually, the uh, 4K mm -hmm. is one of the torrent of display technologies. All of the actually the manufacturers trying to first show this is 4K technology. Then in addition, how to utilize those technology for the customer's body. That depends upon the company. Our actually the one of our example is we are trying to utilize that 4K technology for as 4K tablet. Right? That is a sort of unique actually the proposal utilizing that technology. Was there anything else over and above the 4K Ultra HD message that you saw, or was there any other themes around the other manufacturers' booths? Uh, 4K related is OLED. Actually, the, many of the actually, the, uh, companies are uh, showing their OLED technology for next generation TV. And we have shown our OLED yes. prototype here yes. as well. Yes, for the mass production, probably it may take some time, but the technology is actually the, Getting, uh, getting there, 
getting there, getting improved. That sounds good. Mr. Sugar, you've now joined me in the uh, 4K monument area yes. on the Panasonic booth, yes. um, which is obviously one of the high profile parts of the product that's actually being displayed here. So how would you envisage the the, the 4K tablet being used because obviously the size of it is larger than the, the sort of the conventional tablets right. that customers would carry around for right. domestic use. Yes. So what kind of content would they yes. be suitable that's for? That's actually the basically is that's a replacement of actually the paper or printed materials. Mm -hmm. That's one actually the very important uh, application I would say. Instead of utilizing the pamphlet or catalogs which are basically the printed as a paper, we can actually the all make it uh, in digital. And we saw on the booth um, demonstrations of things like museum exhibits and draftsman plans for buildings which show up very, very well in the high resolution tablet. Yes, yes. I mean, the TVs that are behind us here, which yes. are obviously the 4K WT600 yes. TV, yes. what kind of content do you foresee driving sales of those initially? As we can see in the game corner, we can directly input the uh, full-scale 4K signal coming from the uh, game machines, uh, especially the, actually the digital uh, steel cameras. Mm -hmm. It can originally actually have the higher resolution than the 4K. So we can utilize those actually the contents as well. And interestingly, we've had a lot of questions coming from consumers on Live at EFA asking when there will be a 4K steel camera, but in reality, most of our Lumix steel cameras are already 4K. Already and higher not... resolution than 4K. So next target would be actually the movie camera. And, and how is Panasonic going about this? Is Panasonic sort of following what the customer wants or are Panasonic trying to sort of create new markets and then sell those and market That's those to the customer? That's actually the good communication is necessary. Based upon the some assumption, we're going to actually the, uh, provide some prototype in case of B2B or uh, for consumer product uh, well, we, we need to actually make a challenge to introduce new type of product so that we can, using that product, we can communicate with the potential customers. Really, that's actually that's good fit to the, actually the new lifestyle. That type of communication to the, with the customers are more important. We are trying to expand our contribution to people's lives. That's actually what we want to do. It sounds like a really, really good vision for the future. Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Panasonic.